Hey, hi, this is Varsha and welcome to the QA world in my YouTube channel. So this is the fifth video of my Selenium automation series and uh, where I'm showing you some predefined methods in Selenium, how we can use this predefined methods in a script and how we can interact basically on any uh, web page basically. So uh, in my previous sessions, I have covered like how we can run the initial setup, how we can write first script, how we can open a browser, how we can close the browser. So I have covered these topics and uh, uh, whenever we open any uh, browser in Selenium and uh, there is a, some items, basically there is a, some uh, web elements on the web page like buttons, text field, drop downs, uh, so many things are presented in this web page and uh, how we can interact uh, with that uh, things or we can say how we can perform any actions on this web element so I'm going to show you uh, with this videos help like uh, how we can interact with this web element so there is some uh, few, there is some methods like uh, uh, get method uh, find elements method send keys method click method how we can interact with this bit basically so I'm going to show you uh, basically I have prepared one demo for this session and I'm going to show you uh, with this example of gmail.com like uh, how we can open the gmail.com how we can click in on gmail web element how we can pass the particular uh, element uh, particular email address to this particular field so let me show you. Yeah, so basically these are the predefined methods in Selenium and uh, I'm going to show you how you can use these predefined methods in your UI script and uh, I'll use a one real time example like uh, uh, google.com or gmail.com. So I'll show you how we can use these methods like uh, uh, with the get method, the click method and when we have to use this find element and what, what are the parameter we have to pass in this particular methods. So yeah, let me show you in my framework. So I'm using the sample Selenium framework, which I have created previously. And uh, I had also uploaded that video in my this uh, uh, YouTube channel or uh, we can say in this uh, Selenium uh, automation framework. And uh, I'm recommending you please go and watch like how I did a basic setup, initial setup for UI automation and how we can create a Maven project. So basically this is the Maven project as you are understanding the structure of this project. So let me start quickly and I'm going to create a one class here and I'm giving a class name is a predefined method. Predefined method. And as this is a very uh, uh, simple Java program. So I'm going to add one main method here. So our execution will be start from the main method. Yeah, so main method initialization and done and I'm going to create an object of a web driver interface. So we will call this method basically using of this uh, particular uh, web driver interface object. We will call all the predefined methods which is mentioned in the selenium. So let me initialize the driver. And I'm going to initialize this driver with a Chrome driver because I'm using Chrome browser here and uh, let me call this driver dot get method first. So as you can see, this method is uh, requiring one uh, parameter like a string URL. So we have to pass the URL very specific URL, whatever URL or whatever website we want to open. We have to pass that URL in a string form. So let me just pass one URL here. HTTPS colon double slash www dot google dot com. Okay. So this is the get method done and uh, let me show you uh, by executing this program how this get method is work. So basically it will open that browser and it will pass at google.com. Yeah, as you can see uh, that google.com uh, whatever URL we pass inside this get method it will launch that particular uh, URL. So whatever website whatever uh, particular URL we want to launch uh, by using this get method we can call that. So let me uh, go to next uh, method uh, that is a driver dot click method. So I'm taking a same example like how uh, we can click any web element on a web page. So first let me close this uh, browser. Uh, stay sign in out. Okay, stay sign out. Let me maximize it. So 
uh, if you opened any particular website or particular URL in your UI automation, then there is a, some web elements, some there is some uh, items on this web page. So you want to uh, perform any action. So how you can do that? Like uh, uh, there is a one button like Gmail, image, sign in. So you want to uh, click on that button. So uh, how you can perform these actions in Selenium? Uh, let me show you. And uh, I want to click basically on this Gmail button. And uh, uh, first of all, we have to take a uh, uh, path of this particular web element. So in Selenium, when we are using any particular uh, actions on any particular uh, web element, so first of all, we have to write the address for this uh, web element so we can reach on this web element. So let me inspect it and uh, I'll show you what is the HTML structure for the, you can see this is the HTML structure and uh, there is a uh, so many things like class area label and uh, uh, text also so uh, using this uh, like uh, attributes we can find this web element and uh, I'm recommending you uh, one video which I have created previously for finding a web element on the web page where I'll show you so many efficient way where you can use that and uh, there is also some tips and tricks uh, which will share, save your time like uh, efficiently how you can find this web element on the web page so please go and watch uh, and uh, for now i'm not going uh, in very depth uh, where like uh, we have to write uh, uh, address for this particular web element so to saving this time i had already uh, uh, created few uh, xpath or like uh, addresses for this particular web element uh, what i'm using in this uh, demo so let me use this uh, address basically this is a xpath for this gmail uh, web element and uh, inside my script i'm going to use this web element let me write driver dot find element method so what uh, this method does basically in selenium so let me just hover and let me show you so you can get what exactly we have to pass yeah so this is the method this is a predefined method in selenium as and you as you are seeing like we have to pass this by dot by so y is a uh, class basically in selenium and we have to give one proper address proper path to reaching that particular web element inside this find element method so uh, by calling this method we will uh, exactly uh, reach to that particular uh, web element uh, which is uh, stored in web page so let me just call this method uh, by using driver dot find element and uh, simply writing this by dot xpath because for this gmail i had already uh, um, created one xpath so this xpath i'm using let me first check like this xpath is correct or not so let me just control f i'm pasting this xpath yeah so as you can see this xpath is exactly uh matching one of one so and it is uh denoting this gmail web element so let me use that yeah and in the same statement we will call two methods first find element method to finding that particular web element on the web page and i'm going to use one more method that is a click so basically i want to click on this method so uh, uh, basically i want to click on this particular web element like i'm overing this button so this button is clickable and i'm going to press it so how we can uh, so this way we can uh, do in this ui automation so let me rerun this code and i'm going to show you how it will click on this particular uh, gmail button so please wait for a few moments so it will uh doing some in initial setup for that class and uh, it will launching the browser it will open that google and it will click on this gmail okay so this way we can use this find element and uh, uh, this uh, click method yeah so as of now we covered the three methods get method click method and find element so what is my next like send keys so how we can use this method let me show you uh one second so as we can click on this gmail button 
uh, after clicking on the sign in so basically i want to sign in uh, this gmail so i'm going to sign in this uh, gmail account and uh, inside this uh, email field uh, we have to pass basically uh, one uh, one email address so whatever uh, email we want to log in whatever account we want to log in on the sign in we have to pass uh, the particular um, email address so whenever we have to pass any particular text to any text field we will use the send keys method so uh, let me show you in this uh, selenium script how you can use this one so let me write driver dot find element because first uh, first of all we have to click on this uh, sign in button so again we have to inspect this button one second and we have to pass this particular sign in button address so this is uh, inside the uh, a tag and as you can see there is also sign in text and uh, there is so many things like uh, uh, edge reference link uh, data actions data categories so you can use that things also there is a one class name you can use that thing to finding the web element so for now i had already this sign in button uh, path let me copy it and uh, i'm going to use it in my automation script y dot x path so i'm giving this x path here and i want to just click on that so once this statement this line will uh, execute it will uh, click on this sign in button so let me show you let me again execute this file so one second as you can see the new browser is open and it's open and yeah it was clicked on the sign in button so one second let me add one thing here so it will maximize which basically driver dot manage dot window dot maximize yeah so we can also maximize our browser in our selenium basically it was opened uh, um, browser and it was not in uh, maximized initially so we have to use this particular uh, statement to maximize this browser and uh, after that again i have to click on this one second let me just check where we reached click on this sign in yeah so this email field is open so we can directly pass this uh, email address inside this uh, email field so let me use find elements and uh, yeah so for this particular uh, email field i had uh, created uh, one path like uh, i'm using email id here so id name is identified id let me show you how we can use in our script let me just click on this id and i'm passing this id and also want to send keys so using the send keys method i'm going to pass one uh, text here basically one email id here and i'm passing my email id so this way we can pass any text let me show you once uh, i'm executing this code so it will open google.com it will click on this email it will click on the sign in button and yeah it will pass the reverse sahu at gmail.com yeah so this is the way we can pass any text field uh, any text in the text field and uh, uh, for this uh, sign in we have to cl uh, click on this uh, next button basically so let me do that yeah driver dot find element so whatever time like uh, uh, we have to click on any particular uh, web element we have to call this method basically these two methods because first of all we have to find that uh, element as you can understand with the text like find element and uh, passing this particular address and then we can click on that so if this uh, uh, element is clickable we have to use click method if this uh, particular element want any some want some text we have to pass some text using the send keys method so let me uh, add uh, next uh, x path what x path i had used one second so for this next button i had created one x path uh, 
Okay. So basically, I'm selecting this X path and passing this expression and want to click on that. Yeah. So this way it will pass my email ID and it will click on the next button. So I'm able to log in here. Let's see what happened inside this script or inside this automation. So yeah, launch browser is launched. It will click on the sign in button. It will pass the UR that email address and it will click on the next button. So yeah, couldn't sign you in. So basically this uh, Google is restricted to this automation. Uh, we can't perform any automation on this uh, security region as you can see this browser or my app may not be secure because whatever automation we are performing in ui automation this is not much secure so we can't perform any automation script on any particular uh, security so let me quickly summarize this predefined methods here and i'm giving you uh, one uh, short sentence uh, like what is this method actually doing so you can just uh, remember like uh, yeah this method is using for that meaning and uh, what is the meaning of this uh, method so let me just start like uh, this driver dot get method is used to uh, pass the url and uh, this driver dot click method is used to click on any web element so whatever web element present on the web page you can use this click method you can interact with this uh, web element you can click on this uh, particular web element and uh, uh, this driver dot send keys method is used uh, to pass any text into the text field so whenever you have to pass any text uh, like so there is some text field where you have to pass some phone number your email id your address or your name so in that scenario you can use this send keys method and uh, what is the next like driver dot find elements so this is the basic method whenever you are finding any web element on the web page then only you can uh, perform any actions like clicking send keys so that is the uh, main thing and uh, this method is used to find any web element on the web page I hope this video is really helping you and uh, uh, giving you a proper understanding how you can use these basic uh, methods in Selenium. And uh, let me tell you, without this basic method, you can't perform any actions or you can't perform any UI automation uh, in this Selenium. So first of all, practice with this with this uh, uh, predefined methods, how we can interact with the web element, how we can use the click method, how we can use the find element. So whatever web element are uh, presented on the web page, we have to uh, use driver.find element. That is a very basic or uh, first step while we are interacting with the web element on the web page. So I hope you can remember this method with the, uh, with the practice. So it will be really helping you. So yeah, that's it for uh, this video.